Hi friends, welcome to Andy Bricks and a look at 76991 Tails Workshop and Tornado Plane. Oh, that's a workshop. I thought that was the airport. Well, there you go. <laughs> we don't often get the name on a set in New Zealand, so yeah, I don't, you know, unless I'm really interested. I am interested, <laughs> don't get me wrong here, um, but yeah. You know, I, I just didn't, I, I totally skipped that, I didn't even see that. Just, yeah, <laughs> focused in on this. Still the child in me, just, hey, uh, numbers and words, what are they? Foreign to me. <laughs> nah, nah. Okay, so we've got, oh, that's interesting, Buzz Bomber, Tails, and Sonic, Winking. And there's tails at one to one ratio on the box. So, yeah. A excuse my, I've got a little bit of a tremble in the hand. Now, I, I'm not sure what's going on here. He's obviously sucked that little bird in through and captured it, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. I actually started out with Alex the Kid, so um, Sega Master System, um, which is what this stuff is, eh? I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, all began with Alex the Kid in the mid-90s, I'm going to say, for us here in NZ. And um, I was, um, you know... I was running a kitchen at the time and I um, brought one just because I like video games and they were really basic back then so right up my alley. Um, not the you know complicated stuff of um, a PS, I brought my son a PS1 and um, I, I could play that thing alright but yeah just I haven't played video games for a long time. And there, it was a drift game on um, on one of those, you know, PS or or I can't even think of the other one. It's not it's not PlayStation. It's the other one. It's got a Z in it, maybe. I can't remember. Anyhow, the, the <laughs> video games. Uh, it's not often you get a Lego set that is or was or still is a video game. Um, this is possibly a movie um, going on as well which could have brought this to us and yeah some great little prints in there and we'll get into it uh, this is just the, this was the best part for me the plane's cool don't get me wrong but um the little workshop was just dynamite and uh, I built this a while ago and it was sitting up on the piano and I hadn't touched it and I was so surprised to open the drawer <laughs> and um, see that printed 1x2 tile in there absolutely fantastic great print so you can these new drawers, they've been new for a while now, so, but yeah, when I first started playing with Lego, drawers would just drop out of anywhere, but they, they remade it, and what a great job they did. So, um, little trolley, it's got a, you know, it's got the spanner on the side. I think that's called a 1x2 modified plate. Which is just the uh, go-to, you know, bar that they use for so many things. Now, I actually thought the rings was something Sonic was catching. But, um, reading the description of this, it looks like, um, this chap over here... Now I don't know where I read this. I might have looked up brick set, and this this now this happens 
from time to time with Ligo. Different places will have different names, but um, there's our little birdie. So cute. They use that a couple of times throughout the thing, a different colour. And um, But this was called a bad nick. Now the nick, my, my, my little brother, unfortunately, who is no longer with us, um, God bless him, um, he used to say nick on the end of everything when he was a kid. And um, it was just, you know, I can't think of any. Oh, no, he, he'd use it all over the place, actually. It wasn't just on the end of stuff, but, yeah, Nick, bad Nick. But what did the box say? Um, Buzz Bomber. So, there you go. I'm not sure. Um, I would imagine in the video game, you know, you would only... When I played them, you'd only see it from this angle, so, you know, it might be coming at Sonic, shooting something. But, um, yeah, very nice. I don't know if you get to see the full thing. Those wings possibly are flapping flat out. No idea at all. But, uh, yeah, a very nice build. Nice to have it elevated as well. Now, Sonic... We should have really done him first because he is the hero. And um, great little build for the chair. Just awesome. You know, couldn't ask for much more. Works fine. Where's my little pose? Oh, his little straps on his feet. I take it. I guess that's what's going on there. Nice bit of printing. And some... Um, dual moulded legs. Sorry, was lost for words there. Um, nice print on the back. Actually, it's the first time I'm really looking at it. Because um, I just stuck him up on the piano and he was standing on the plane for most of the time. And I only saw him from the front. Yeah, I don't like this. You know, it's nice to have him winking, but it just, you know, all the time. Winking all the time. It just doesn't work for me. Hence, um, I was, you know, got the set where both eyes are open and... And I had to have um, Dr. Robotnik or Eggman or... I, I'm not sure what's going on with these, you know, two aliases names for stuff. Um, the others don't have it, but yeah, there we go. Just a solid head. Um, possibly... I'm not sure if those white parts are printed or if it's um, some you know, triple moulding there, but I would say the nose is painted and possibly the eyes and mouth. I'm really not sure. Oh, the ears are the pink of his um, chin, mouth, area, face <laughs> thing. Real, um, Plain print on the front, but works well. It does, it really does. I don't have a problem with it at all. My cat's been in here. So I've got a cat here. Oh, tails just got chopped. So, tails. I don't know about this tail piece. It's okay. Well, you know, what else could they do? I just feel it's a little bit large at the at the bottom end of the mould. But um you know if you just saw one I guess it's a it, it is a big fox tail. I, I think it's a little bit too large. 
I do, but hey, what a cute little face. Happy to have him. A little bit more on his um, torso print than Sonic's, a bit more hair, as he is um, hairy, you know, the hairy fox. Nice little hair piece there. And same thing with the head, you know, solid, solid head there. Tail piece, which actually fits, and uh, there's a little bit of difference in the colour there, but nothing to scream about. You know, the further away it is, the less you see it. I don't think kids will be bothered with it. Now the aeroplane. This is quite nice, just because we have the rounding of the of the wing and yeah it's not a bad little build it sits very close to the ground I guess it skids on that there I think it is yeah possibly um, little control lever there which tails can hold quite nicely. I always like it when your minifigure can grab the joystick. You never can grab the steering wheel, but um, your joystick works well. And um, yeah, he's great. Got a print there for his tail, two tails. Looks rather fat there actually. I'm not sure, is it, that must be an official thing, is it? Anyone? Is it? Is it? Anyone playing this game? Um, so, yeah. Nice little build for this. No stickers in the set, which is nice. No stickers across three sets that I've built of these. This um, Shadow Bike and Knuckles Mech. And, yeah. Nice to no stickers. So, up here, Sonic can fly. Now, I did look up some images of this, and um, in the game, it looked like they were flying along like this. Now, there were two planes, one that had all red with a yellow stripe through it. I'm not sure, but there was a grey one as well, the grey and red. So, I'm not sure what was going on with that, but a neat little plane. Very you know, zoom around the lounge with this one quite quite safely and have a, a fun, fun time just, you know, doing all sorts of crazy things and um, land and take off all the time because, you know, that's, that's a fun part of play and, yeah, a nice little plane, very, very nice. And that brings us down to the workshop, which I was absolutely amazed at. Only because you can do this with it, and it takes up less room on the shelf. So, got a couple of flowers going on there, identical to either side. Um, there's some yellow stripes, actually. I like this colour. Haven't seen it for a while. That I remember but um, that happens quite often these this just comes out or um, or one of them comes out yeah it's um, I'm not sure what they could have done I really don't know but they could have used that big, bigger piece, that's just one piece, but it would have popped off as well, but yeah, that breaks away all the time. I must remember not to hold it by there. Anyhow, here the cool print, I think that's been out already. Can't say I've seen that one there, I'm not sure which way it goes, but um, on the box... Tails has um, got it out, and he could be scanning his plane for, um, you know, damage or robotnik trouble. I'm not sure 
what goes on that's I, ju I just seen that one there that is cool I like it and um, yeah and this this cool one up here very nice I love those colors there's a few colors going on there four or five I think I tried to count the black the green the yellow the white maybe four but yeah very nice very nice um, not sure what that is for um, the crystal possibly part of the game not sure what the can the um, the clear blue cylinder actually don't I haven't seen one of these for a while maybe 2009 space police honestly I honestly haven't seen one for a while I might look it up actually brick set the, you know brick set it and you click the parts and then you look for that part and then you click how many sets it's in and they show you across you know for the mold you know depending on when the mold was updated um, they take you back as far uh, far as that I think look at this front but it's just falling out oh, I've, I've, this is just terrible not one to be held so yeah so we've got um, this is where you put the little bird I believe I was hoping just the clear bit would come off, but it all fell to pieces. I guess this is stronger than what it's attached to. But um, here's our little birdie. Is that stud size? Yes. Yeah, because I believe you can hold it. I think Shadow's holding one on my piano. I think it's the same colour as well. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, was all you always were collecting rings and um, I was actually amazed to um, watch a show and the knuckles one and see the portal ring and that's what I wondered if those rings were portal rings you know as he initially in the first game I don't know but I think he's collecting rings all the way but um does that give you lives or does is that about opening up something is this a portal man the world's a little bit portal mad at the moment I'm watching um the Skinwalker Ranch show I think it might have finished this season but um Gosh, portals on. So very nice little aeroplane hanger set. Um, Three hundred and seventy-six, possibly bricks, in this um, delightful thing for seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars, which. Is, Puts us just over 20 cents a brick, I think. But, um, you know, it is a licensed thing, and we should have done that. It is a licensed thing, and yeah, uh, it's a good one. This plane is um, champion. I like it. This, this gets a thumbs up from me. Hit that like, give us a tell me if you got this one, and if you do Sonic at all, I couldn't resist. I honestly couldn't. I should be resisting, but um, yeah, not too good at that. Anyhow, Andy Brooks out. Peace to you all. Stay safe out there. Take care.